Hey guys, it's John, aka That Real Band Enthusiast, back with another video. Well, guess what we are looking at here? That's right, it's my Philips FWC870 Mini Hi-Fi System. Still working like a charm. I know. I don't want to. I don't want people to think I'm weird by having an old stereo system for a 16-year-old. Plus, I really like these systems, and I will tell you the reason why. I don't know if I've. I don't know if I've explained this before. My mom had a Philips FWP900, and when I was five to six years old, I actually blew it out. Not blew, not blew it, but I kind of wrecked it a little bit. It didn't blow out, but I, but I wrecked it. It's because I shoved a CD back up into here where the, where the mechanism is, and the motherboard obviously, obviously was broken. We got it fixed once, but when I broke it again, it was just done. And that's been gone for a while. And I still have the speakers of that stereo, but that's over at my mom's house. And I also still have the FWP900 down there. That's the one, not the original one, but that's the same one that my mom had at Philips FWP900. That's exactly the same one that my mom had. And I actually have a picture of me with the stereo, but this that's not the original one. The original one is dead, but that's the same exact one. Anyways, I just really love these systems, and I've, and I've loved them since I was five, and it reminds me of just, you know. And also, I just love, like, a lot of stereo systems don't have lights. This, like, I just love, like, a, like all the effects on here and everything. It just really makes it look cool. Why not? I'll turn it on. I just hate when it glitches like that. Every time I hit this, it always pulls up the pulls up the low power power standby thing. Anyways, I'll turn it on. Now I have it on dim two because I just don't want to be using too much of this up. Not because I'm not, but I just want to just kind of. I, sometimes I think I might reduce a little bit. It looks so bright with dim two in my phone, but in real reality, actually the actually the FWP nine hundred is 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 a little bit darker, but this one. You know, I actually love how good the floors and display looks on here. It doesn't look, doesn't even look glare at all. Actually, very slightly. That one is so glare. Part of it, part of it, part of me thinks that one it hasn't been used, hasn't been used quite as much. I don't know, but it almost makes this look like a whole new display. You know. Anyways, we get the CD, tuner, tape, AUX. I don't use this hardly at all. Anyways, yeah, I don't use tuner hardly at all, or even tapes. Now, if I have a tape that I might listen to, even though I don't have any, or if I just want to play something that my grandma has, I might. But I don't use tuner or tape. All I use is CD and AUX. Anyways, by the way, speaking of AUX, I know some people have been asking like, oh, how does the AUX work or how do I connect the cord? That's all, that's some, that's some other things I'm going to go over. But yeah, anyways, we got the CD tuner tape AUX. Now, I just hate when it glitches like that. I'm pretty sure the motherboard in here is all right, but look at that. I just hate when it glitches. But anyway, it works pretty good, actually. Anyways, I just love this part here, Wooks. So we got Wooks 3, 1, 2, and 3. I just love 3 because it really, it just really makes a good sound. And here we have the jog dial. VEC stands for Vire viral environment control digital sound control optimal classic techno vocal rock jazz optimal hall i love hall it actually makes it sound good club disco the thing i really love about this whole EQ system here is that it just, I just love the effects that, the effects of the equalizer. 
Just look at that. That's just really freaking cool. And we also have arcade. Like every time I, every time I select the EQ at all, I just love how it makes those effects on the equalizer. So you can see all those EQs. I just love how it's. I just love how it's set up too. It just really makes it. Anyways, enough of that. Also, we have the personal settings. I hardly ever use this. Your bass control. It's hardly being used to, so. And we get the dim controls down here and all the, we get the program, clock timer. You can, you can see I already have the time, I already have the clock set now, so we have to record for the tape stub on the reverse. So. Anyways, we get the three CD changer. That's because I double clicked it. And I got a Elvis Presley CD here that I really like. I just love, I just love everything about these, these systems. Sorry if I'm not talking too well, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of tired, it's morning. But just want to make a video of this. But the by the way, the cassette does the cassette tapes do work. And by the way, AUX, I still don't get what CDR means. Every time I use it, it's just it just it just puts out really bad quality. AUX has the best quality. And for my AUX and for my AUX device, I use my Alexa here, Alexa. Play Baby, I Need Your Lovin' by The Four Tops. Here's Baby, I Need Your Lovin' by The Four Tops on Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. I love using my Alexa for this. This has much better sound quality than that does, actually. And I'm actually glad that it can allow you to hook it up to your audio device and this is the cord right here so you have it connected in the back in the back of the alexa and by the way this is how if i can move this here's something alexa on the web. stop so all this back here is all the connections and everything and this is the AUX connections that's line out if you want to hook up another, I don't know. I, I still don't get what that means. And that's for your subwoofer. We got the um, AUX connections here. It just uses a black and red output, input, output. So all you just got to do for your for AUX is just get a get a red and get a red and white output and then you can then I'll turn that off for a second and then also it has the little headphone jack at the end of it so yeah all you gotta do get a red and white cord get a red and white output and I mean red and I mean a cord that has a red and white end and a head and a cord on, and a headphone jack cord on the end. Those should be really easy to find. I just gotta search this AOX cord, RCA stereo cord. Here, I'm gonna plug it in here. And then you can just plug it into your device, your phone, your computer, your Alexa, or anything, you can, anything that has a headphone jack to it. It's just really, it's not that hard at all, actually. <laughs> And I apologize if, I'm, if I haven't really been all that helpful with it. Let's make sure that this is... Yeah, it's actually pretty good. All right. Yep. So anyways, um... So... Yep. That's pretty much about it, actually. I don't want to be making this too long. So yeah. That's my Philips stereo. And, um... Mm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and y'all have a nice day. Thank you for watching.